I would like to show you how to use the Mega Molds from Kenneth Michael Guitars, KMG.com, to machine in a very simple way the perfect angle into the top rim of your guitar assembly. Now the Mega Mold has many other uses, um, particularly one does not have to purchase or make an outside mold, which is a, a fine way of building, but is limited to that one shape. So you do need an extra uh, mold, either purchased or um, made for each style of guitar you want to build. Still, that's an excellent way to do it, but not as handy as the Mega Mold, where by uh, moving a series of uh, these rods in and out, you can make any outline you want. Customize it or copy an outline that you're sure you want to copy. Just the one mold will do that. In any case, the mold also has other functions and one of them is cutting the correct slope in the top. I'll just show you how to go about it. It's a simple process. Uh, the first thing to do is to make sure your front and back rims are at the same height from this top. Four and seven sixteenths, a little over three and a half. That's uh, fairly common. I use some shims underneath the uh, the block to raise this rim up to the approximate height of the back rim. Four and seven sixteenths. Need to go up a little bit. Perfect. Sometimes I'll take the shims down. Movement is not that big a problem, but I like to keep them pretty close to where they need to be. So now we have the rim at the front and the back at the same height. We're going to be putting uh, a little force on this as we sand it, so it's a good idea to shim up the sides in another couple of places just to keep things steady. I use a piece of MDF. Um, anything that uh, works for you is fine. Popsicle sticks make great little wedges when you tape them together. So just put this in until it touches the bottom of the rim without raising it up any further. Double check. Four and seven sixteenths and you know, just to make sure this hasn't moved. Great. Okay, having done that. We take an abrasive bar, also from KMG. I, th I think the way to think about this bar is to do this same process in other ways is more cumbersome. Some people will take a 24 inch disc without this cutout, cover it totally with their abrasive of choice, and then <clears throat> attempt to get exactly the right slope by, uh, by driving the bus. It does work. Uh, it takes more time and it's a matter of creeping up on the, uh, the correct angle more than just getting it right the easy way. This bar, if you think about it, 
If you had a, a large circle and just cut a strip right down the middle of it, you will get a bar like this. In this case, we have a bar that has a radius on one side, which we'll use on the back, and it's flat on the top, which we'll use for this particular operation. I have some sandpaper affixed here. It sits on the head block, and I'll take a strip of the same sandpaper and put it on the tail block to make sure that we are, in fact, level. We are level. It's all good to this point. Now, and we're, we're getting close <coughs> to the end here. It's been determined that we need to raise the top part of this mold and the rim one and a half degrees. That's been work, worked out mathematically. And I take that back, it's 1.3 degrees. And that has been worked out mathematically. And it turns out, in order to achieve that 1.3 degrees, the mega mold needs to be separated, it's hinged at that end, it needs to be separated at this point, 0.51 inches. I made a couple of little blocks, 0.51 inches tall. <coughs> and I've discovered that placing them, placing them right on that mark then lowering the form to that mark gives me exactly the separation I need. I double check it because that's the kind of guy I am. exactly 0 0.051. So we're good. What we've done first, made sure the rims in relation to this top board are the same height. We've raised this 0.51 inches which is going to give a 1.3 degree slope which is the difference between where this part of the top is now and the back portion. It's much clearer if you read the essay on KMG. Okay, we're about done. Put the flat bar here and you will find there is a very small gap between the adhesive and the front of the block. We want to measure that distance. It's going to be very small in this case. I did a little preliminary work. Not that small. Automotive feeler gauges. Okay. It just slips in with a little bit of friction, which is what we want. The point of doing that, we use a stop collar that comes with the Mega Mold. And we want that stop collar to be that same distance below the bar that accomplishes the task of having us not take off too much wood and get our angle off. this captured. Hold it tight enough that it doesn't fall off and you'll know you've got it. Okay. Okay.
I draw a witness line. So I'll know that I've touched the areas I don't want to touch. And also a line across the front of the block. I also do one along the rim at the at the rear. Nice sand a bit uh, until you've erased the witness lines, including the one on the front of the block. It doesn't take very long. Tighten everything up on the uh, on the inside that you can. Make sure you're pretty tight here. Something I forget to do occasionally. It's not fatal, but you do want to make sure you have that. Okay, at this point, the uh, witness lines are gone from the areas I'm concerned about. Uh, and from the back of the block, I've got some faint lines at the front of the block. I might add that I'm using a, a grit of sandpaper that's a little too fine. I think this is 150. If you used a 60 or an 80, well, you would have been done some time ago. And I'm, in fact, just finishing up. So in real time, that's it. In real time, with uh, speaking and uh, expounding a bit, which takes up time, uh, we've done the job. We have a completely accurate 1.3 degree angle, which when paired up with our 88.7 degree angle is going to give us our best chance at a very low action in a straight line from the nut to the saddle. And uh, this is a proven technique that works well, and it's much easier than most, if not all, of the competing methods. We'll do the same thing, basically, on the back, and if anything, that's even easier, and I will uh, get to that in a future installment.